Well, welcome back to NRL 360 Live from the Vegas Strip right here at Resorts World. And we've got two very special guests. Brisbane Broncos coach Kevin Walters and captain Adam Reynolds. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, boys. Great to be here. Kevin, you uh, had a captain's run, I believe, at, yeah. at Allegiant Stadium. How was it? No, it wasn't at Allegiant. We trained oh. at uh, LA Raiders today. So, yeah, it was good. Oh. Um, typical of our normal hit out on a captain's run. We got a lot done this morning and have to get us ready for yeah. tomorrow night. Did We're you... all very excited about the whole occasion yeah. and particularly our players uh, for tomorrow night. Did you get a look at Allegiant Stadium at all? Yeah, we had a look through um, this afternoon. Uh, what a magnificent stadium. Second only to Suncorp Stadium, I believe. Oh, <laughs> of course, Kevy, of course. Now, Renault, has it been difficult to uh, keep the boys in check in Sin City or has, has it been okay? No, it's been pretty good. We've only been here for a day now, so um, boys got out, done a little bit of shopping yesterday, get it out of the system. Obviously had a good preparation this morning and um, yeah, nice and relaxed, heading for, looking forward to tomorrow. Kevin, one of the uh, the things I've heard about the stadium is that the uh, the sidelines. We know we've had to squeeze the rugby league field into the ground, yeah, and we've narrowed the sidelines and that. But I hear this, this, the particularly in the the corners, but also the sidelines are pretty close to the walls. There is that a, a worry for you? Not, not a worry for me, Kenny, where I watch the game from. But for our <laughs> play, for our players, yeah, it's something. It's it's not a worry. I mean, our players are well aware. They're aware the sideline is. It might be a bit tighter, but. The old round, like just being in that in that stadium today, it's yeah. a it's a special place, and I, you can see with our players the excitement in their face and their eyes when they walked out there. You can imagine yeah. with I don't know how many people are going to get there, but it, it's going to be a great event for rugby league, and more importantly for our players that are participating. You know, on the night they're upwards of forty-seven thousand now. Okay, that's great, and c keep it building. Yeah. Let's Might go. Be Suncorp. Keep it going. Oh, <laughs> Fifth, they got to go past fifty-three. Suncorp, mate. <laughs> Renee, we've had a few of the halves on. We've had Brooksy on, Luke Keary, and we've spoken about the field and and it being uh, the width, width not as wide and also shorter in in depth. How does that impact your game as a half? Yeah, not too much, I'd say. Um, I think the more we think about it, the more things are going to go wrong. So for us, we've spoken all week about just playing our brand of football. Um, you know, we want to be nice and aggressive through the middle. We want to, uh, you know, kick to the corners, do the things that we do every other week. Um, we don't want to try and reinvent the game. It doesn't have to do that. So uh, hold the ball and... But you're one, of, you're one of the best kickers in the game. you arguably the best half in, in good field position coming out of your own territory. Do you have a different tactic or is it you just got to... Be a bit more wary because of the size of the field. Is there is there a certain tactic you might go with? Oh, the length isn't a problem. Um, yeah. I think it's more the width of the field. Uh, it's a little bit shorter there, so um, yeah, not much will change. It's a bit grippy the surface, so the ball's not going to run on. Um, we, we were lucky enough to get out there today and yeah. have a little bit of a fill, but um, yeah, not much will change for yeah. kickers. The uh, the referee. Kevin, we're all hoping we're going to get a uh, an open game. And we all want that sort of grand final experience where the game just gets let play. Has there been any sort of indication from you guys how the game is going to be adjudicated? Well, the NRL have introduced some new rules around downtowns and blocking, uh, yep. you know, tackling uh, players after they pass the ball. So we're all aware of the rules. Um, obviously, being round one, they're going to police them quite heavily. So it's up to our players to have the right discipline, you know, yep. tomorrow night to make sure that they're tying in with the rules and the safety of the game. I think the new rules that the NRL, well, I don't think I know, the new rules that the NRL brought in are going to open the game up somewhat for our, for our fullbacks and our, our wingmen who have got the speed and the pace. And sometimes those kicks, they catch it and they're getting hammered. Whereas if they get a bit of space to move in, it's going to open the game up, which I believe is always a positive. Round of applause for Adam Reynolds, too, signing a new deal with the Brisbane Broncos. I'll clap that. I will clap that. Well done, Kevin. <laughs> 2025, uh, another year there, Renault. Um, what drives you to keep playing uh, the way that you do? I mean, you, you've been in such great form, but just to keep powering on, what motivates you? Oh, it's not easy to get... It's not hard to get motivated, sorry. Turning up each and every day with the, the talent that we have. Um, you know, we're building something special at the club and something that I want to be a part of moving forward. It's, yeah. it's an honour to obviously put that jersey on and, and represent the, what's a great club. You know, Kevy and... Uh, Alfie still walk through the doors every day and we see the legacy they've left behind and um, as players we want to do the same. Kevy, you got so close last year, so close. Uh, heartbreak in the grand final. Have you dealt with it internally and, and is it, is it a, a worry for you this year or are you not worried uh, about it? No, I, I think it's going to inspire a lot of our players. Well, certainly inspiring me as a coach to, to be better. Um, we obviously weren't, weren't quite good enough you know, in the grand final. That's last year, we're a new team now. Uh, I believe there's still so much uptake 
with our players. Even Adam's still getting better as a player, as a captain. We're all learning, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about the year ahead with the current squad that we've got. Um, we've had, had to make some changes, but those changes um, come with a lot of power, a lot of speed, a lot of skill. Um, so, yeah, really very excited. Confident. Yeah, it's very good. confident. What about you, Renner? How, how have you come through? Because you, you caught some criticism after the game last year, the, 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 kick, the dropout that went out in the full and, and, and various things. And, you know, everything was going so well and all of a sudden it just collapsed. And, yeah, you know, I, I spoke about it earlier this week about this. I thought part of it was because you did so much work defensively in that first half that just fatigue started to get you towards the end of the game. But emotionally still, it, it does have some sort of toll, doesn't it? Oh, I think you deal with it there and then. Um, no doubt it, it carries a few scars throughout, you know, the... the next couple of months but look we have a long pre-season um you know trained extremely hard in the off-season to, to make sure i came back in better shape um and then get those reps under my belt again to obviously make sure that it doesn't happen again mm. um i didn't want to sit through the video session that uh, kev put us through but looking back at it now is a great thing for us as a team as a club um you know moments in that game where we needed to be better and um no doubt we will learn from that and make the same mistake Kevin, why'd you make them do that? Because a lot of... Like, I still talk to the old Balmain Tigers. It took them nearly 30 years to watch that 89 grand final. Yeah. Why did you put your guys through watching that game again? No, I wouldn't say put it through. It's, it's all learnings, um, I, I see. Uh, but it's so... It's so such turmoil. So much good. Players. So much good about that game. I showed more. Good, you know, we looked at the good things. You did a lot of good things. A lot yeah. of good things in the game. You know, for our first half defensive effort was amazing. Yeah. Um, and certainly our second second half was at times really really good and we just um, yeah so much to like about it you know if someone said to me at the start if someone says you say to me right now Kenny you're going to be in the grand final and you're going to be all the way and then it, you're going to win it at the end of the year you take it yeah if they say you're going to be in the grand final you take it everyone's lining up tomorrow to be on that stage on Green on Green Final Day. Well said, Kevy. I tell you who was an absolute standout in the Grand Final was Ezra Mam, Reno. What, what's he like to play with? And the sky's the limit with him, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is. He's a talented kid, and we've seen that from the moment he, he came into first grade. Um, slowly learning his trade, he's slowly learning to pick and choose his moments and it was a great example in the grand final, he, he, he did that. Um, you know, he's still got a lot of upside left in him. Um, he's learning the game management side of things now and, um, you know, he's developing as a player continually and uh, looking forward to getting back out there again with him this year and uh, trying to get him in some more open space. That's one of the exciting things about your club though, isn't it, Kevin? You've got so many young players there who their best footy is still ahead of them. Well, a lot of them, like Ezra and Walshie, two of our main players, you know, and Selwyn, are all coming into their best football. Their, their hardship and their learnings is behind them. We all still learn as we go, but I feel that we're in a really good place, particularly those young ones who've had some hard years. Paddy Carrigan, Payne Hass uh, have been there as well. Um, just so much more, so much upside in our side, and that's what excites me, not only about uh, tomorrow night, but also about the rest of the season. We had Peter Bedell here earlier, and he, sa he said that he's found a secret flick pass, Selwyn Cobbo, has got for us tomorrow night. Has that, has that been evolved? Has that come oh, out in the press? So he, he, was, on, he was on the money, wasn't so, he? Uh, well, Selwyn's be, being now... Because wingers don't pass the ball, do they? We've all played with wingers. They just yeah. don't know how to pass the ball. But Selwyn's actually <laughs> learning how to pass the ball. We, right. Just a little flick pass. But, yeah. What's the difference between a, a, a flick pass and a secret flick pass? <laughs> like, what's, what what well, new has he discovered? <laughs> no, well, Selwyn's just, again, developing his game. But it's, it is a different position than he finds himself in. But... He's played a lot of centre um, throughout his juniors and also in grade in Queensland Cup. So yeah. he's at home in the centres, on the wing or even at fullback. So it's just another cook-up from Bedell, really. Yeah. Well, well, Pete's done his work behind the scenes again, hasn't yeah. he? Sure has. <laughs> now, uh, Reese Walsh, we spoke about him last night or the last couple of nights. We hear that he's close to extending a deal or putting yeah, pen to paper. I believe so. Um, uh, that's up to Reese, his management, and also uh, the people at our club. But, I, I, you know, he's not going anywhere whilst he... Yep. We'll mortgage the house to, to hang on to him, you know. You got any tip in a little bit third party break? Uh, apparently, he, I do. He, hey, he ate a thousand dollar steak last night. Oh, what go. about his jacket? What about his jacket tonight? Yeah, That's I'll, worth a good <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll sell this and he can get yeah, and put into the fun for us. Well. worth more than the jacket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Kenty. Quiet down there. Uh, yeah. That's it for us there. Yeah. Kevin Walters, thanks for joining us. No worries, Adam Reynolds, good luck on the weekend. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a great year, Kevin.